This video will demonstrate how to install a LAMP stack on an Ubuntu to allow you to run your web server. First, you need to install Nginx, PHP, and MySQL on your Linux server. If you don't know how to do it, please watch our previous video. Please note to upgrade to the latest version of PHP to avoid driver exceptions. Here we are using the PHP 8.1 version. Step 1. Configuring Nginx to use the PHP processor. Create the root web directory for your domain as follows. Next, assign ownership of the directory with the user environment variable, which will reference your current system user. Then, open a new configuration file in Nginx's site's available directory using your preferred command line editor. Here, we'll use nano. This will create a new blank file. Paste in the following bare bones configuration. When you're done editing, save and close the file if you're using nano. You can do so by typing Ctrl plus X and then Y and Enter to confirm. Activate your configuration by linking to the config file from Nginx's site's enabled directory. Then, unlink the default configuration file from the site's enabled directory. This will tell Nginx to use the configuration the next time it is reloaded. You can test your configuration for syntax errors by typing. If any errors are reported, go back to your configuration file to review its contents before continuing. When you are ready, reload Nginx to apply the changes. Your new website is now active, but the web root var w your domain is still empty. Create an index HTML file in that location so that we can test that your new server block works as expected. Include the following content in this file. Step 2. Testing PHP with Nginx. Your LEMP stack should now be ready. You can test it to validate that Nginx can correctly handpoint PHP files off to your PHP processor. You can complete this by creating a test PHP file in your document root. Open a new file called info.php within your document root in your text editor. Type or paste the following lines into the new file. This is a valid PHP code that will return information about your server when you are finished. Save and close the file by typing Ctrl plus X and then Y and enter to confirm. You can now access this page in your web browser by visiting the domain name or public IP address you've set up in your Nginx configuration file, followed by slash info.php. After checking the relevant information about your PHP server through that page, it's best to remove the file you created as it contains sensitive information about your PHP environment and your Ubuntu server. You can use RM to remove that file. You can always regenerate this file if you need it later. Step 3. Testing database connection from PHP. To test database connection from PHP, we'll create a database named example db1 and a user named example user. You can replace these names with different values. First, connect to the MySQL console using the root account. To create a new database, run the following command from your MySQL console. Using this command to create a new user named example user using miscal native password as the default authentication method. You should replace our sample password with a secure password of your own choosing. Now we need to give this user permission over the example db1 database. Now exit the MySQL shell with this command. You can test if the new user has the proper permissions by logging into the MySQL console again, this time using the custom user credentials. Enter your password used when creating the user. Use this command to confirm that you have access to the database. You will see these output. Next, we'll create a test table named quote list from the MySQL console. Insert a few rows of content in the test table. You might want to repeat the command a few times using different values. Run this command to confirm that the data was successfully saved to your table. You'll see the output you have created. After confirming that you have valid data in your test table, you can exit the MySQL console. Now you can create the PHP script that will connect to MySQL and query for your content. Create a new PHP file in your custom web root directory using your preferred editor. We'll use nano. The following PHP script connects to the MySQL database and queries for the content of the quote list table, exhibiting the results in a list. If there's a problem with the database connection, it will throw an exception. Copy this content into your quote list PHP script. Save and close the file when you're done editing. You can now access this page in your web browser by visiting the domain name or public IP address configured for your website, followed by slash quote underline list.php. You should see a page like this, showing the content you've inserted in your test table. That means your PHP environment is ready to connect and interact with your MySQL server. If you like our video, please give us a like and follow us for more exciting content. Don't forget to leave a comment.